Hi, I'm Don Reapy, the Jamaica Bay Guardian for the American Little Society. Today we're going out into Jamaica Bay to look at one of the most amazing raptors of New York City. We're here in Jamaica Bay on Joko Marsh, the biggest and best marsh in the bay. And I'm standing next to a, a platform nest of ospreys. The osprey is a large fish-eating hawk whose population had been decimated by DDT in the environment. DDT interfered with their ability to produce calcium. They would sit on eggs, they would break. But since DDT was banned by executive order by Richard Nixon, I believe it was 1972, uh, the osprey has started making a comeback. So in 1990, there were no nests in New York City. The first nest occurred in Jamaica Bay. Once we saw the ospreys were making a comeback, we started putting up more nest sites for them. Today we have 25 nesting pair in Jamaica Bay. So this bird is fully restored to the bay. This very fierce looking predator is actually pretty docile. They really never attack people. Um, they're fish eating birds. We've tracked them. Uh, we had a GPS harness on at least two different birds. One went to Venezuela in the winter. The other went to Colombia. So they travel great distances in the winter to their winter grounds. Then they come back here in early spring. So these three birds should be flying in about a week or two at most. They learn how to hunt, how to catch fish. So they're almost fully grown. It's just beautiful. You notice the, the reddish eyes. It, it's a really beautiful bird. So we're here at a second nest uh, in Jamaica Bay. It's on the yellow bar hassock. This was actually the site of the first nesting pair of ospreys for New York City in most of last century. So in 1991, we had our first nest on the other side of this island. This is a fairly new nest, and we have uh, two young birds up here, about four weeks old or so. Um, just to give you an example of what they're feeding on, <laughs> here's the remains of a sea robin, <laughs> uh, half-eaten sea robin, that uh, actually a, more of a bottom fish that they brought into the nest. Their main prey is actually menhaden, a surface feeding fish. But we'll leave this here, they can finish that a little later. How are we doing? Let's see, these birds should be banded. Here's one. Here's one, he's got, ouch, okay. Easy, easy. Yeah, he's got his two bands on. Easy. This is a young bird. But look at those talons. Those talons are geared for grasping fish. So we have two beautiful birds here. So they're, they're about uh, five and a half weeks old, I'd say. They need another two weeks before they'll, at least before they'll be ready to fly. So here we are with New York City in the background, um, right here in Jamaica Bay. Who would believe that we have such a magnificent raptor such as the osprey? This one is pretty feisty. So this has been a very successful year for the osprey. Most of the nests have three young, which may be due to uh, a good population of menhaden in the bay. Well done. I'm holding a menhaden or a bunker, a surface feeding fish that is one of the most important fish in the sea. It is also the prime food resource for the osprey. Since it's a surface fish, they're easier to catch. When we had the first nest in 1991, and since then we've been banding almost every year. So we're at uh, 
ruler's bar marsh today. And this is the latest nest. We put this up with our restoration call last year. We have two young in this nest. They're about five and a half to six weeks old. Okay. And we put two different bands on these birds. These are the two bands that we use. Okay. The silver band is the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service band. That goes on the right leg. And the left leg is the Jamaica Bay green band, which has a number and a letter. So presumably uh, people seeing these in the field can read them from a distance and we can get information as to where they go in winter, for example, where they go and travel and forage around the bay, how long they live. So what I'm gonna do is just very carefully pick up one of the young and cradle them in my arms. Just being a little bit careful for the uh, talons, they are a little bit sharp. And you can see here with the osprey, they have toe arrangements where there's two up and two down. A little bit different from most of your perching birds, but usually have three toes in one direction and one in the other. So these birds, <clears throat> these birds are designed for catching and eating fish. As far as I know, that's 99% uh, of their prey. Uh, they may take advantage of something else uh, on occasion, but for the most part, they're strictly fish-eating birds. Okay, your movement should be very, very slow. Very, very slow. I'll let him bite me, that's fine. I don't mind that. He's biting? Yeah. Yeah, Chris doesn't mind if they bite him, and, and I don't mind if they bite him either, so uh, <laughs> it's fine. <clears throat> wow. So I'm gonna readjust him, just to fold his wings a little bit better, Ooh. so he doesn't get hurt. Okay. There we go. Well, it's go. like a dog or a cat when the hair on their, yeah. their, their neck or head goes up, it's like getting my hackles up. You know, the feathers in the back of the head. Okay. And you're done. You're all done. I'm going to let him stretch his wings once again. Get a little stretch here before I put him back in the nest. Okay. Beautiful. And there. So we're all done. Hi, I'm Don Rippey, the Jamaica Bay Guardian and Director of the Northeast Chapter of the American Littoral Society. And I'm Alex Sablocki, the Executive Director of the Jamaica Bay Rockaway Parks Conservancy. For the past 20 years, groups like ours have been protecting and restoring habitats in and around Jamaica Bay. But a lot more needs to be done and we could use your help. Consider volunteering to help us improve the bay. As nonprofit organizations, we are grateful for any monetary contributions you can make help us in these efforts. Finally, we invite you to share this video with your friends. And we invite everyone to come down to the bay and explore the world of wonders that we have right here in our own backyard. Together, Together we, we can protect, protect and restore Jamaica, Jamaica Bay. bay.